In this video, I will show you how to do fraction multiplication. We will be referring back to a previous title, adding fractions. And uh, in this video, I will show you how to multiply fractions with a whole number or whole numbers and uh, how to multiply a fraction by another fraction. So let's get started with fraction multiplied by a whole number. For example, what's one third multiplied by four? Uh, there's a couple of ways to go about it. We'll go one by one. The fastest to multiply the whole number with the top of the fraction. So the answer is four thirds done. So that's uh, round one. It's an improper number. If you really have to, you can convert it into a mixed number. So four thirds is nothing else than uh, one and one third because four divided by three is one and then you have one left over because uh, because one and that's a times one times three is three plus one more will make four. There, let's zoom in so you can see it a little better how to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction improper improper fraction and that's a mixed number there you go four third and one and one third just to refresh you so four divided by three is one and you have a remainder of one or one by three is three plus one more will make four that's how to do it fairly straightforward middle school stuff now on a calculator this is how it looks one and I'm gonna be using the ABC button let me just uh, zoom in so you see what this thing is there is this special ABC button on it let's get even closer there that one it says ABC on it and over it it says D over C so I'm gonna be using this ABC button and when I press it on the display uh, this is what you get sorry nothing without a number so let's enter one third one abc three times four equals there's the, there's the answer when i press the abc button that's the little character that you're getting on a calculator and that's uh, the meaning of it is division or or fraction so there our result checks out it's one and one third and if you want to convert that result into improper fraction or uh, improper fraction then you press second function that one in the corner and on the display you get a check bulb here back on your dashboard that you indeed press the second function button and you press the ABC button again and tada there is your fourth third if you want a decimal fra decimal out of it just for good measure you press it ABC button again and there's your decimal 1.3 but decimal conversion is in another uh, video but that's basically how the ABC uh, button toggles so that's another way to look at it look at uh, multiplication fraction multiplication you can also have a another approach uh, one third times four over one because four is the same as four over one and then you multiply the top with the top and the bottom with the bottom and you write the numbers down that's the same as 4 over 3 same thing uh, one last thing sorry uh, not the last thing one more thing here is modeling fractions this is called modeling modeling fractions if you need to refresh on uh, this part that's what you find it under is it's called modeling fractions here is one third times four so that means we have four of them there's one third there's one third there is one more third of a circle and there is one more third of a circle and when we rotate these thirds together these three will make a circle like so there is one third there is one third and there is the third third 
three thirds. We'll make a whole pizza here. And uh, here is the one whole pizza. Plus we have that unaccounted for. So we have one whole and one third. That again is the same as uh, multiplication. One third, four times. We have four thirds in total, which makes one and a third in mixed numbers. So this is modeling fraction. And from this modeling, uh, you can do multiplication as repeated addition. One third plus one third plus one third plus one third. And then you add the tops, one, two, three, four. It's the same as four thirds. Okay. Uh, please notice, and this was mentioned uh, previously in uh, another title, named uh, Four Ways to Write Division. I wrote the fractions in this format, uh, 1 over 3 or with a, with a forward slash, and here I wrote one third this way with a horizontal uh, line between the numerator and denominator. This one third is exactly the same thing as that one third. It doesn't matter which way it is written. Uh, if you are not certain about these things, please look up the title, Four Ways to Write Division. So this is basically multiplying a fraction with a whole number. And let's do a fraction multiplication by a fraction. For example, what's one half of one third? Now in spoken language, the word that stands in for multiplication is typically of. And, uh, and when uh, the word of is used, so multiplication is implied or meant most often. What's one half of one third? To do this, you multiply the top with the top and the bottom with the bottom, otherwise known numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. One times one is one, and two times three is six. And you can do the same thing in uh, in a calculator as well. One ABC button three times uh, one ABC button two equals one over six. So now we verify that our circ uh, our uh, fraction multiplication is indeed correct and. Uh, That's, uh, that's that to it. Uh, you can also make a decimal out of it by toggling the same ABC button. To multiply this one, this is going to be a tricky business, but I'll try to make the nicest, let me see, 246, nicest little modeling here. This is again modeling, modeling fractions. And imagine this is a chocolate bar here with uh, the thirds here clearly visible here is the three thirds so oops sorry guys so one third of a chocolate bar is this cross hatched area when we're talking about one half of one third this is what we mean now we halved all of the thirds but by that halving how many pieces did we create we created one, two, three, four, five, six parts. And one half of one third is that, the super heavily cross hatched uh, part. Because we have one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, six sixths. Now, six parts to the whole, and one sixth is one half of one third. So that's modeling fraction. It works with uh, more sophisticated numbers as well. For example, what's, uh, what's three eighths of, uh, I don't know, five seventh of two, mm, I don't know, thirds. What you do again is multiply the numerators, all of them together, and write up your result there. 
and multiply the denominators together and write up your result there. So 3 by 5 is 15, double that is 30. 8 by 7 is, mm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, 56 times 3, well, let's just go on a calculator, 56 times 3 is 168, so that's going to be your numerator here, 168, so 30 over 168, now that's an even number and that's an even number, and this fraction can certainly be uh, simplified and brought to lowest terms, but to do that, I'm going to show you how it's done on a calculator. 3 over 8 times 5 over 8 times 2 over 3. And I was using the ABC button consistently here. And let's see what the lowest terms is. Oh, it's 5 over 32. So I'm going to record the answer here. 5 over 32. And uh, with the ABC button, you can make a decimal out of it and... Uh, so go back to 5 over 32. So that's basically how fraction multiplication is done. Practice it until you are proficient and you can calculate super fast. For example, if you have uh, 15 sheets of, notice that I mentioned the word of, 15 sheets of 3 8 plywood, 15 sheets of 3 8 plywood, how thick is the pile altogether? The answer is going to be in 8. 15 times 3, let me see, 5 by 3 is 15, and the one carry over, 3 by 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, 45 over 8. Now let's divide 45 by 8. Let me see, uh, that's 5, and some left over because 5 times 8 is 40, with a leftover of 5 8. Yeah, 5 times 8 is 40, plus 5 is 45. Let's do the same on a calculator, just to see how things pan out on a calculator. 15 times 3 over 8 equals 5 and 5 8. Ding, 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 ding. There we go. Let's make an improper fraction out of it with second function ABC button 45 over 8. Ding ding ding. And let's make a decimal out of it. Yeah, there you go. There's a decimal conversion. So that's basically how to multiply a fraction with a fraction and fraction with a whole number. Like I said, practice it until you reach a level of proficiency.